with this young Charger team reeling from mistakes in the first quarter and in a desperate situation to stop Cincinnati here. And the give is to Icky Woods. And Woods comes across the 45 down to about the 42-yard line. Here's the fumble again by Holland of the kickoff. Well, he gets some good blocking up front. He finds a nice seam, but the ball just pops out of his hands here. I think he was stripped, but I can't tell what player actually stripped the ball from his hand. Got to hold on to that rock. You know, it's kind of evening things up. Cincinnati fumbled the first one. Now San Diego gave it right back to him. Second and six for Cincinnati from the 42-yard line. Bengals with a 13-3 lead as we start the second quarter. Hoover hit four of five, chased out of the pocket, holding wide open. He's got it at the 35-yard line and is tackled there. Gary Plummer got him down, but Holman had no defender within about five yards of him when he made the catch. Boomer continues to pick this charge of defense apart. And they're in the attack offense. No huddle. Holman's made three catches for 60 yards now. See, Reimers is back in the game at left guard, so that injury wasn't a serious one, fortunately. Riggs and Woods in the backfield here for Cincinnati. They're picking up a first down, and Riggs goes in motion. Woods on the handoff, cuts it back. Stopped short of the 30-yard line by Lee Williams. Woods likes that cutback move, doesn't he, Joe? Well, Tom, it's so hard to find a running back behind those big offensive linemen. You know the flow of the play as a defender. You know the flow of the play is going right or left. You start to chase, and then all of a sudden, this running back out from behind these huge linemen is going the other direction. Very difficult to stop. Stanley Wilson in at a running back now, replacing Woods. This is Wilson. Good running room. Back down. No, it's not. I thought it was. I thought Woods had it. So did almost all the Chargers. <laughs> Meanwhile, Boomer was hitting, uh, trying to hit McGee in the end zone. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, between Boomer and you, you had me fooled. <laughs> I was watching that run and play for a moment myself. Gil Bird made a tremendous recovery and got back to break up a pass that was a sure touchdown. I mean, he was wide open, but Bird playing in the left cornerback position stayed with the receiver or picked the receiver up coming from across field. We're all faked out. We're looking at this run, but the pass is way downfield. And once again, Gil Bird made the play to break it up. That was one of the best fakes I've ever seen, but Bird was not fooled and made the play to save it for San Diego. It's third and five for Cincinnati. Nickel defense for the Chargers. Boomer just kept it away. Too high intended for Brown incomplete. Leslie O'Neill putting the pressure on Boomer. He just got the pass away. There's a penalty marker down. This figure. The breach has hit eight of those 11 he's tried. His longest has been 41. So this would be his longest field goal of the season. It's going to be about 48 yards. Nope, it's a punt. They snapped it right to breach, and he punts it, and it'll get into the end zone for a touchback. What a little Sam Weiss trickery there. They lined up apparently for the field goal, snapped the ball directly to breach, who punted it, but it rolls into the end zone for the touchback, and the Chargers managed to hold the Bengals without any points. 